Louis Wickham was a cherished figure in New Mexico's music scene, known for his unique blend of country, folk, and Mexican musical influences. His musical journey began in the 1940s when he performed alongside his family, nurturing his talents from a young age. After joining the Air Force, he became a member of Tops and Blue, the Air Force's prestigious touring band, where he showcased his skills to audiences across the country. Upon returning to Albuquerque in the mid-1950s, Louis immersed himself in the local musical scene, collaborating with notable artists including Glenn Campbell. Alongside his brother, Hank Wickham, Louis opened and operated several music venues that became cultural hubs in the region. Together, the Wickham brothers were celebrated as icons of New Mexico's musical landscape not only for their performances, but also for their dedication to mentoring emerging artists. Louis' original song, New Mexico, resonated deeply with locals, becoming a beloved anthem that captured the heart and soul of the state. Despite facing immense personal hardships, including the tragic loss of two children to cystic fibrosis, Louis remained a steadfast supporter of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, dedicating his time and resources to help others affected by the disease. The Wickham Brothers' discography spans decades and reflects their signature style, a mix of humor, heart, and authenticity. Songs like New Mexico and other heartfelt compositions continue to evoke nostalgia and pride among New Mexicans. Although Louis and Hank have passed, their legacy lives on, celebrated by the community that embraced them and they remain fondly remembered for their immeasurable contributions to New Mexico's rich musical heritage. Old Joe McKinney And his eyes were bloodshot red As he gazed at the crowd surrounding him These are the words he said I went down to St. James in front of me And I saw my big bin there Stretched out on a long white table So cold, so still, and so fair I stepped up to see the doctor The doctor, she's mighty low, he said One of the songs that I've always thought was one of the best written songs I've ever heard. It was written by Louis Wickham, who I think is one of New Mexico's great songwriters. And he wrote a song called This Good Life. And um, I've spent a great part of my life promoting that song and showing that song to people. And I've always wanted to record that song, and I never thought I could. I never thought I'd be able to sing it. And I worked on it, and I worked on it a long time, and I came up with a version of it that, I'm, that I was happy with. This good life I've worked so hard for It's not all that it could be If I'd saved a few ideals That once were part of me It's the Scott Carter Show! Give me that answer. Who shot who and how did this happen? They were shooting rats, and uh, so that's how it happened. <laughs> Mine was a ricochet, and, and our uncle shot Luke. Wait a minute, no, I can't. The song I got to break, I'm not going to break. We got to get to the bottom of this. That's why I can't understand these drive-by shootings. Don't those people have family? (laughs) (laughs) She told me she was partial to the local federal marshal, Matthew Dillon, claimed to be her steady. But lately they weren't dating. She was tired of waiting. If I was willing, she was ready. In the wee hours of the morning, we received a warning that he was hot. I think if you're going to write songs, uh, you better take stock of how you want to spend your time because it takes a lot of time to write a song. It takes a lot of time away from other things. You, you have to consider the people that you love when you start writing, writing music because it takes a, a time away from them too. And uh, is it going to be worth that's why I've written a book called How to Play Guitar Well Enough to Screw Up Your Life. Because it can happen. It can happen that you, your mate or significant other or whatever might get a little jealous of your time. 
and and think, well, hey, they'd rather you take a, an accounting, you know, course or something. I was an outlaw once, you know, Kansas long ago. And I was prone to womanize. And the only friend I counted on was the buckskin I was mounted on. That's what led to my demise. Yeah, I wrote him in to dodge one day, make the Bank of Kansas pay to watch me get away and see him run. I knew it would be risky, but the Long Branch sold good whiskey. That's what I'd need to get it done. I was met by a committee, called herself Miss Kitty. She said, welcome to my city and salute. She took my coat and hat. We sat down to chat. We chewed the fat till late that afternoon. Grandmother, what does it mean to do your dander? It means being helpful and trying hard to do a good job and being nice. Like the people at Piggly Wiggly? Mm -hmm. Is that why we buy all our foods here? Well, yes, they're just nice people. I love Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly has the finest service in the land. We're here to try to help you understand that at Piggly Wiggly, we're doing our darndest.